for the useless news. Useless news. Right here on the Big Dumb Fun Show. Venkman reporting. Good evening, everybody. My name is Venkman. This is the useless news brought to you in part by Uncle Rusty's Pure Pork Salsa Ghost Protocol. Pick some up today. And also in part by Comic Con Carne Episode 9, now yes. available in stores. Not in stores, online. Okay, you can get it online. Sci-fi for me dot com. Check it out. We have issue number nine. We just released this week, and the fun thing is, is we're doing two a month now. Very cool. So one of the hosts I absolutely adore. The other one is Rena. Yes. Um. So watch it on uh, on the YouTube. The Sci-Fi for Me. Uh, look it up. Uh, you can friend, just Google friend, it. Follow them. Google Plus them. Mm-hmm. However you like, support them because uh, it, it's going to be big. It is, and all you have to do is Google Comic Con Carney or just Google Rena or sci-fi for me and it'll pop up or if you even google comic book entertainment show it'll pop up i've got good news for you rena north korea has lifted a long-standing ban on women from riding bicycles in urban areas oh, thank well, goodness that's great news the repressive measure was imposed by kim jong-il in the 1990s of course you remember the bike riding problems of the 1990s everyone remembers the riots that the women caused no i do not one of the the daughters of uh, his generals uh killed riding a bike in downtown Pyongyang. those caught violating the order were fined uh, up to uh, 25 whatever the unit of measurement in north korea is and repeat offenders risked having their bicycles confiscated by the state so what happened they wanted to see it. those girls walking the streets. There was a, oh. a, a girl that was a general's daughter. She was riding her bike around downtown China. North Korea. Oh, Korea. No, it was North Korea. That's the that's the funnest part of the story. Okay. Uh, she was, uh, I guess, she was apparently in an accident. She was killed riding a bike. How, And so though? Kim Jong-il, she got hit by a truck. I don't oh, know. okay. So Kim Jong-il says, now, you know what? Flat w- women cannot be responsible to ride bikes. In downtown North Korea. Hmm. No more women riding bikes in urban areas. And he made that the law? And that was the law. Weird. Citizens were urged to heed the ban in uh, television advertisements, which told a woman wearing a skirt while riding a bicycle was contrary to socialist custom. (laughs) The news website quotes a source saying that uh, this August, approval for women to ride bicycles was handed down by the state. Women have welcomed it, saying that the penalties imposed by the father are being lifted by the son. Now... Can I say something? This this could be a, a lot bigger story than... Women riding bikes. All I gotta say is, women riding bikes are probably schoolgirls coming from school that wear skirts as one of their uniforms. So now you're gonna have to change the uniforms at the school if the girls wanna ride the bikes and not be in skirts. Am I not right? Private schools, especially in the US. They just make the skirts a little shorter. No. These are like North Korean schools. I don't even think they have schools over there. (laughs) Do they even have girls? They may not. <laughs> I just blew a snot it's, it's like one. It's like one lady that's just, yeah. just bitching. The one that got killed riding a bike. <laughs> it's just like the one what lady. What was she doing out anymore. in the middle of the street? No, there's a lot of this Koreans. Is actually, I, no, have this a, is, I have a friend that's a Korean. She's a female. We should we should come back to this. But she's not in North Korea. She sure isn't. No, she's, she's in, in North Kansas City. The, no, she's not. She's in South Dakota. I actually want to table this discussion and talk about it a little bit later because this could be a lot bigger story than what we make it out to be. This is... This is Kim Jong-un lifting a ban that was imposed by his father, and even though this is a a bike riding, his father, even though this is a bike riding ban, he doesn't mind seeing women killed riding bicycles. Bring it on. That's why he banned them. His dad did. Who's his? I thought we were talking about a her. Kim Jong Un. Let's come is back the, to the story. Father Kim Jong Il. <laughs> I will read it all over again, and we'll make sure that we're all on the same page, and then talk about it. This that is won't. this Did never happen. This is a huge political story. More than a more than a lady riding a bike. That's all I'm going to say, and I'll leave it at that. All right. A British store manager said he chased off a knife wielding thief by throwing cans of beer at him. <laughs> he probably just collected the beer and was satisfied. Amon, uh, 29, manager of a uh, store in England, uh, Kelvin Hatch, said that the masked man came into the store about 5.15 p.m. Sunday, demanded that the female staff member open the cash register. 
I was just in the back having a break when I heard the shouting. <laughs> having a beer. I was just in the back having a beer. <laughs> it was a man shouting, open the till. Open the till. How can you be... Taken seriously? <laughs> like with an English accent. I can't... Uh, open the bloody till. No. The knife is what's speaking. Straight away, I knew I had to do something. I just acted on instinct. Now that's a knife. I sprung into action like a cat. <laughs> I went out and I, I saw that the man, and he was waving a knife around. I grabbed the first thing I could at him. Which was a uh, beer in my hand. A PBR. <laughs> nice. No, it was in England. It might have oh, been a Guinness. Sorry. It was. I, I grabbed a pint. I went out and the man, waving the knife around, I grabbed the first thing I could throw at him. It was a nice cold beer. He threw it at the robber until he fled the store, just chucking beers left and right. A sight to be seen. <laughs> Please say they're trying to identify the suspect. <laughs> but apparently he he got off scot-free. Because he had a mask on, silly. Speaking of beer, this is out of Citra, which I also believe uh, is Florida. Citra, Florida. James David Gray says he's got a bad drinking problem. The 68-year-old man was arrested Tuesday and charged with driving a lawnmower while intoxicated. Pulling the old George Jones. What did he get? Like a L-I... What do they call L-I-W? Lawning while intoxicated. Mowing. <laughs> mowing. M-U-I, mowing under the influence. Yeah. Uh, he said that he'd been drinking since he was 16. He can't control his habit, and he needs help. I need to get to a long rehab program, he said during an interview at the jail where he's being held without bond. During the last two years, Gray, who receives a disability check, says that he's not taking a sip of alcohol. Before that, he said he used to drink 12 packs a day. 12 packs? 12 yeah, packs a day. He wasn't taking sips. He was taking gulps. 12 uh, packs? Like 12 packs of cans or 12 packs of bottles? 12 packs of cans have 30. You know that? On his way home from cutting grass on Tuesday, he said he stopped at the convenience store and purchased an 18-pack of natural ice because he was hot and depressed, which is why he chose natural ice. Hmm. He said he was depressed because of a $459 a month uh, disability check and the $300 a month he earns from cutting grass is just not enough. To buy beer. <laughs> well, yeah, if you're drinking 12 packs a day of 18, that's a lot. Natural ice. Natural I think the guy should be ice. let off for time served because it's natural ice. <laughs> Marion County Sheriff uh, Deputy. Staggering Rick. from house to house. You need your art lawn cut. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, that's when you just <laughs> you mow the lawn and be like, that'll be 50 bucks. 50 bucks? I he just mowed for five I did, minutes. I didn't need the lawn cut. I didn't tell you to cut the lawn. 50 bucks! <laughs> or I'm putting it back! <laughs> Go ahead, put it back. I don't see. <laughs> hey, you don't want to throw beers at I this guess. guy. Just, take, take my beer. Just leave. <laughs> All right! An 18 it. back will be equivalent to 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> you got any natural light in there? <laughs> natural ice. Get it right! Uh, uh, Rick Palmeter was doing a security check in the Lakes and Meadows subdivision uh, when he noticed Gray riding the red lawnmower south in the northbound lane of the Northeast District uh, Third Court. He stopped the mower, found that his eyes were bloodshot, his speech was slurred, and the mower was up. Mm -hmm. My name is Vankman. That is a useless news on the Big Dumb Fun Show. And I'd like my Chinese food cooked right, because they're not.